Good morning students today we are going to read chapter 3 adaptation in plants and animals today our topic is adaptation in plants so let's we start now adaptation in plant adaptation are a special feature that allow a plant or animal to live in a particular place or habitat these adaptation might make it very difficult for the plant to survive in a different place this explains why certain plants are found in one area but not in another plants on land plants that grow and survive on land are known as terrestrial plants there is a huge variety of terrestrial plants that live in different habitat such as cactus plant pine tree or people tree plants in desert desert plants have adapted their roots stem and leaves to store more water and decrease its loss the ability to stay hydrated desert plants grow healthy in extremely hot or cold environment for example cactus plant kika and babool tree next is plants in forest in the forest the soil is very fertile therefore a lot of tall trees and small plants grow here making the forest very dense trees have thick bark to protect them in the cold winters plants in hills and mountains in the hills and mountains the trees have special features to protect themselves from cold and snowfall mountain plants grow close to the ground to avoid being uprooted by strong winds these plants produce smaller leaves to prevent water loss some plants are also able to grow under a layer of snow next is plants in grassland some flowers and herbs grow in the grassland the softer stem allow the plants to wind rather than break in the grassland wind plants in plains in this region the trees grow tall and thick and often have broad leaves example people and sesame tree next is plants in polar region the soil in polar region remains frozen throughout the year therefore the plants that grow here are generally short for example arctic poppy plants in fort the plants that grow in water are known as aquatic plant the aquatic plant can be classified into three categories first is floating plant second is underwater plant third is fixed plant floating plant some of the adaptation of floating plants are as follows first they have spongy stems second they have empty space in them that get filled with air so that they can easily float third they have light weight leaves that have to float on water example duck beet second is underwater plant some of the adaptation of underwater plant are as follows first roots of these plants are fixed in the muddy soil under water second the stem of these plants also have air space third they have narrow thin leaves example hydrilla third is fixed plant some of the adaptation of fixed plant are as follows first roots of these plants are fixed to the bottom of the water bodies second they have flat leaves that can float on the surface of water example lotus next is 